What's up guys? So uh, for a while now I've been running the Safari Lands uh, QLS system. The QLS system stands for Quick Locking System. Essentially what it is, is a platform, a male and female platform, that gives you the ability to remove um, and quick change your holsters. So if you run multiple weapon systems throughout your range day, so if you're running a Glock, a Beretta, a SIG, uh, whatever guns, you could essentially put the fork system on the back of the holster and then the female system on whatever platform you choose to carry it on and swap them out really quickly. Or if you're a law enforcement officer and you're processing a DUI, you're not supposed to have weapons on you, whatever the case may be, and you lock this thing up in a locker or some sort, you can uh, take the whole weapon system out while it's still housed in the holster and place it in a locker versus taking the whole gun out, having to unload it, or just taking the whole gun out and throw it in a locker. So with this being said, I also transitioned to the Safari Land ELS, which stands for the Equipment Locking System. The Equipment Locking System gives you the same capabilities you had on the QLS, but on your equipment, i.e. we're talking mag carriers here. Really cool, because again, um, I like the Kydex mag carriers. Here's, um, this right here is the T-Rex Arms Mars Carrier. So when I'm doing emergency reloads or any kind of reload in general, I hate it when the pouch covers a majority of the magazine and I only have like a centimeter or an inch to grab because I hate reloading like this. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. So that's why I'm a big proponent of uh, having low cut mag carriers, in this case, the T-Rex Arms ones. And also, as you guys know, if it's Kydex, it's form fitted to the specific magazine. So if I'm running a Glock, I don't have the modulator to throw SIG or Beretta mags in this thing. Um, with the ELS, I could swap them out really quickly now. So all I got to do is the same thing as the QLS, pull in the tabs, pull that out, and then switch out the mag carriers. Obviously, the only problem is you have to buy additional mag carriers, and that's kind of a pain in the butt as well, too. Also, one of the other benefits that I've seen to this as well, um, wearing a vest on patrol or sitting in the car, the magazine pouches that I was using conventionally, they would not have a lot of space from my belt, um, and they'd be kind of closer to my body, so I'd have to, like, dig past my body armor to grab the magazine and actually conduct a reload, especially on the range or whatever. So what this did, because it's on a Blade Tech tech lock system here that I have, it created a nice separation from my body so that as I'm conducting those reloads, they're a lot easier. So I'm gonna go and shoot a little bit and I'm just gonna show you how easy this is to switch out. So I'm gonna shoot my SIG here, fire some however many rounds are in here. Conduct that reload. Okay, cool, that's done. So once I'm done with that, all I have to do is Take that out. Take these out. Come out with these. And then pop the new ones back in. And now I'm good to go. Ah! But yeah, so all this stuff can be found on Safari Lens website. Um, I bought a bunch of this other stuff. You can buy it on Amazon too if you guys want. Um, it's, a, it's a great platform that I've been using. But yep, yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me up either in the DMs, hit me up on Instagram, YouTube, whatever the case may be. Other than that, you guys have a good one.